Okay, a lot of people complain about the photo app uh, being slow. So let's take a look at how you should set up your uh, settings. You open up the photo app, you come up here to the top right, there's little three dots up there, and you go down here to settings, and you click on that. You'll get to the settings page. So if you come here and you look at the directories you have, you see I have the pictures directory. So let's go take a look at my uh, pictures directory on my system. Come over here and we look at uh, pictures. Now I have this set up on a different drive. Here's all my picture directories. Uh, you see it's been set for my default. If we look at the properties, we'll see that I have, I'm indexing 92 gigabytes of photos and videos. And that's all that's in this directory. And just to uh, make sure we understand is that this is on my older uh, Western Digital Drive. It's a regular hard drive, not an SSD. Uh, that's my SSD there for my operating system. And I have pictures on my master directory, which is a one terabyte uh, Seagate. Still a fast drive, but it's not a SSD. And from here we look and we say, there you see it's the same exact uh, number of files that I showed when I was showing you the uh, pictures directory. Now you can do one more than one directory, but I just happen to keep mine all in one place. Okay, not on the C drive, not on the SSD, but somewhere else. So once you have that, uh, you can go in here and add and delete stuff. Once you've chosen your directories that you want to have, you need to take a look at whether or not OneDrive is enabled. This is very important if your network is slow or if you're using this at work where it's restricted. Okay, you want to set these up correctly. And one of the things you want to look at to see if it's indexing all your folders on OneDrive or just your pictures folder. Put it to pictures so it's only uh, doing that because after all, this is the photo app. Now there's some other settings down here that you can play with and all that, uh, but uh, they don't really affect your speed. Uh, it will affect the appearance. Now here we are in my photo app, and I'm going to go through here, and uh, you'll see that I can click very fast. There's no stutter. There's no problems viewing these things. They come up instantaneously. And this is not because I've already done this. This is the first time I've done it actually in months. Um, well, maybe at least a couple months. Anyways, I go through all these. Now, some of them will take a little bit longer because they're videos to get the snapshot. Uh, but most of it, it comes up instantaneously. No stalling. Nada. Works fine. I can even click on the timeline on the right-hand side here and jump to different years. And it does it instantaneously because that's one of the things it's indexing by is the date. But let's talk about editing now. If I click on something here and I want to edit this photo, uh, it comes up immediately. Uh, again, I can crop to whatever I want. Instantaneous response. And if I go to another photo here, uh, and click on it when I haven't accessed before, it opens up immediately. Uh, no delay whatsoever. Now, the system indexing can affect how fast your photo app is indexing. So let's take a look at that. And we do that by typing in indexing options here, and we open up the system dialog box for that. Now, one of the first things you want to do is you want to go over here and re-index or change your indexing maybe. So let's click on advanced here. You'll see here it talks about deleting and rebuilding the index, and I do that. But let's go up here to file types. And make sure that your index is so that's standard. You shouldn't have changed anything here. But you'll notice here it has index properties and file contents. It should be default should be no file contents. So if you have that indexed uh, as well, you should turn it off and only index your properties. Now the next thing you want to do is go ahead and say OK and then click over here on advanced. And we're going to go take a look at where it's located at. You see here it's on my SSD, which is good, okay? But you can move it, you can rebuild it. So let's talk about that. Uh, what you want to do is maybe put it somewhere else, maybe a separate drive so it's not being used in conjunction with the operating system. So you go over here and you select your fastest drive, maybe a small HD, another SSD, uh, whatever. Put it wherever you want to have it. In this example, I'll put it here under uh, an indexing file directory that I created on uh, my uh, other drive. Now it's important to note that it won't do it. It won't actually uh, use this new file until after the service has been restarted. Uh, easiest thing to do is just restart your system, and then you just click on OK to save everything, and we're ready to go. Okay, back to indexing. Put it on a fast drive, maybe your SSD, but it is big, so you have to be careful. So, anyways, we drill down here. 
until we see which ones are which. And you see here I have the master's directory uh, listed. That's where I had all my pictures at. So if we click on the little uh, carrot and we see it expands it and it shows exactly which ones are indexed. Now you got to be a little careful here because the indenting here makes it a little difficult. So if I scroll down, you'll find yourself somewhere else uh, that's not underneath your pictures directory. So make sure that you're looking at the expanded picture directory and choose those directories underneath that you want to have indexed or do them all. It's a photo app after all. Now, if none of that helped you, we're going to go take a look at it, how you can reset uh, the photo app. Matter of fact, you can do this for any app that's giving you problems. But we're going to go over here to the apps page under your Windows settings. So that's over here. And we just click on that. And it'll take some time for this to populate the list of the software you have. But eventually, you'll be able to search in here. You just click on it and say photos. And it'll find everything that matches. There's Microsoft Photos. Click on that. We click on advanced options here and we get into the details. Now, once you get in here, there's a terminate in case you're having problems and you can't close it. But here's what we want to concentrate on the reset. The first one is to repair it. It'll repair it. It won't change your settings, anything. It'll just repair the app as is. But if you have more of a problem, you want to reset it. Uh, this will change your settings. As a matter of fact, those directories we just talked about. So if you click on that, those will disappear. In fact, some of the other videos you'll see about uh, fixing your photo app are simply doing this. And it's not because they're actually fixing anything, but because they've reset those directories. So try the repair first, and if it doesn't work, then go ahead and do the reset. But remember to come back and fix your directories again. So there you have it, how to adjust your photo app settings uh, and your indexing to make sure that you have the best chance of the photo app being responsive, that it does not being slowed down by your too much indexing, or whatever networking you have going on. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.